Um, remember Yitz used to say that when the best of us have lost all conviction, then, and when the worst of us um, are fooled over, what's it called, um, over zealousness, not exactly a paraphrasing, that's when you know that you have to be confident, you have to show yourself, you have to make sure you fight for what's right. And that was the main principle to why I joined politics uh, in the year 2004, then to what that um, 2008, sorry. You know, people, people always think or associate me with uh, of my father, my brother Ibrahim. But what I'd like to share with all of you tonight is, um, you know, yes, in, in 1998, in September, I, of course, learned the importance of um, a vibrant democracy, of what happens when you allow certain quarters to take away your rights, use um, the various branches in government, just because they would like to remain in power, the executive you know, has shamelessly used the judiciary, the media, and of course the police force as mere propagandistic tools. And you know, my eyes really opened up. But what I want to say here tonight is, it was my own decision to be a member of the People's Justice Party, to be part of the opposition. When my father was in prison uh, for six years, I campaigned alongside um, the AP leadership, uh, party leadership, that came to be in 1999. And it was really an eye opener. Trust me, coming, coming from someone, I was a prefect, for goodness sake. I was a goody two shoes. I, you would never expect me going to a rally. Okay? Um, I, I really was a very law abiding citizen. And it is very important because. It was an evolution of sorts. I, I learned to understand the importance of standing up for your life. Are you going to win? Are you going to be worried about losing? Of course, every politician wants to win. And you're really talking about such a high stakes game like this. It is so crucial to win. It is so crucial because you're not only winning um, to fulfill your ambition, but you are up against a regime that will destroy the very uh, things that are important in your life. They will destroy the future for your kids. I have two children. It's so crucial. But you know what? I always remember we must never allow them, we must never allow anyone for that matter to create this siege mentality, this sort of threat um, reality for us. My, my father was in prison. You know, you, I remember the moment. Um, it was, uh, it was my mother-in-law, who, who said, you really should stay away from politics because you saw what you have done to your family and you so got the politics and imprisonment. And just because your politics does not mean it should justify any sort of uh, abuse against that person. I said, they do not accept that. The politics is a job. There are certain preconditions. People are supposed to be governed supposed to be led by a set of moral conditions, moral compass. So certainly I, I disagree with that. But I remember the people who supported me are not necessarily my family members, but are the ordinary that they are. Like, like people like him tonight. So I uh, consciously made the decision in the year 2008. It is not just about really when you contest or take on a position because you are afraid of losing, that self uh, disastrous empty. I mean, you must always remain optimistic. You must always remain free in spirit, in mind, and in knowing that whatever you're doing, it is guided by a set of conditions. That's very important. Someone said that. So. Of course, um, when when Queenie mentioned about uh, you know, the various problems, I don't think you want to hear about the problems. Tonight, yes, I have a lot of problems. I have 2,000 policemen I have to convince to vote for me. And I believe that you know, we must never think that people are stupid. We never, never underestimate the wisdom of the masses, especially policemen. They're also human beings. They can think. So 
you leave it to me. My point here tonight is to tell you that we have a plan. The fact of the matter is, when people came together, the burst when I was there, on top of the truck, do you know, in my mind, I really felt that we are so blessed. We are so blessed. Because we have people like Pak Tamat Sayyid, like Ambika, like Ivy Jose, I'm watching all the steering committee members who do not even you know, have any political ambition, but have made up their minds, took this decision to organize this rally in defense, in demand of free and fair elections. And you know why I feel we're blessed? Because we have countless Malaysians who came together that day. I mean, do you know, if you know me, you know, I've been in, in, in the format since 98, to get the Chinese out, I know what I mean. All the possibility. <laughs> but, goodness gracious me, that day, you know, you, you had so many, so many people come up from all races, from those who flew from Sabah and Sarawak, to be with us. Yes! I, was, I flew to Sabah and um, along the way I met uh, two Sabahans who, who actually flew to KL to be uh, with, with us during the rally. So it is very important. You, you must always remain optimistic. So first, when you decide, you decide based on moral conviction. Second, always remain optimistic. You have to be in a college of optimistic state in opposition in Asia, trust me. <laughs> after so many years, after I see Uncle Kikuya, I really feel that, wow, it's quite the really optimistic. Despite his, um, you know, outburst of anger in Parliament, he must be really optimistic to continue with the struggles for so far. So, certainly, for me, in the last Parliament session, I have been a uh, first time lawmaker, and a few of the changes I suggested included the end of all emergency declaration. And what's important is because we prepared. Bill. Nobody helped Lawyer Borough in a few organizations. But also the bill to ensure Petronas will never ever be misused or abused by the Prime Minister again. So we had the Petronas, sorry, Petroleum Development Act Amendment to ensure the power of the Prime Minister is fulfilled, stating away he does not own full power to use Petronas funds. Along with ensuring Petronas uh, accounts are made accountable to Pali. And then you have also, um, I suggested, the abolition, abol abol abolishment of the uh, Printing Presses and Publications Act. Today is Press Freedom Day, and um, you know, it's a very sad and dark day because of the abuse of, of the difficulties and challenges that were faced by the media community. We must prepare this bill. Not when we are in power, but to showcase, even as an opposition lawmaker, and I cannot get this bill to be debated because private member uh, members' bills never see the light of day. But the point of the matter here, I'm trying to raise, I'm trying to tell you this: they can take away a matter since to see an election fund. They can keep BN the two billion ringgit per year, but I'm the one who came up with the bill to end the printing press and publication. Not that it. And you have the amendments made. But what happens on Mercy? You know, it is not coupled with action. And if you have a, a, a Minister of Home Affairs that can contradict the IGP statement by saying what? Yes, we confiscated, we seized the cameras and the video cameras, the cameramen, because it is part of the standard operating procedure. 